Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. To help my channel grow, don't forget to hit that notification bell, give me a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. That will help my channel grow. So, let's get right into this. Okay, so this is part of a collaboration, and the name of it is Here You Do This. So, there's a bunch of us. We um, sent each other different stuff so that we can recreate the um, things that they have done, their uh, DOIs. So, I only needed two things from um, my uh, the crafter who sent me this package because the other stuff I already had. So we weren't sending any embellishments. We were only sending like main pieces if we needed to. So the first one, I, let me show you what it looked like that I'm going to be doing. So here is the image and what it is, it's like a paper mache bowl. Um, she used a balloon and then she tore up fabric and then she used, she was using glue and water, and then she changed to Mod Podge, and I did Mod Podge and water. And this is um, fabric from Timu, and I'm just snipping the edges and ripping it, and then I'm going to drag it through the um, Mod Podge and water and just cover this bowl up. Okay, now that I got all the strips cut, uh, tore, I am mixing the Mod Podge in the water, and then I'm going to put them on this balloon. Now, this balloon did not want to stay standing up. But, hey, I fought with it and I won. So, once I get it all done, I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then we'll come back and we will work on it some more. But I'm going to let you watch me do this in fast mode.
Okay, now I'm going to let that sit um, overnight and let it dry. And then we'll come back to it. So this is the Here You Try It 2.0. And this is a collaboration that Christine and Tammy are doing. Their videos or their channel links will be in the description box as well as the playlist link. You'll want to go check them out and check out the whole playlist because we've got some amazing crafters. So let's get back to the next project and I will show you what this one is is let me give you a little sneak peek of what hers was oh i forgot to tell you who it is and the crafter that i am trying that i'm doing her video or her crafts is cindy from z9 designs and so here is the image of this one so here it is it is um a vase and um i'm using a little i don't know if she put Hers on a base. She might have put it on a round one. I put it on a square one. And she used a toilet paper holder. And then she sent me those wooden rings. And um, I didn't have them. And I, no one around here carries them. So she sent them to me. So I am just using hot glue and wood glue. And I am just putting them on this square base and stacking them up. And I will put the um, toilet paper holder in there. And I will glue it to that after that all i'm going to do with this is use antique wax on it because i want mine darker than what hers is um hers was a much lighter color i want mine darker just to go with my aesthetic so that's what i'm going to be doing <laughs> Thank you. 
now that this is all done, I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, antiquing wax, and then I'll use a paper towel and wipe it off, and then this project will be finished, and then I will move on to the next project, um, or, well, I have to wait for the next day to get back to that, um, the other vase, or type of vase or whatever, like ball, the one that was, um, the fabric, so, um, we'll get to that in just a moment. This is the end of, or this one is finished. Let it sit aside, and then I'll see you. You'll see it at the reveal. Now, this is the um, third project. Let me put a picture up here. What it's going to look like. Okay, so this is a tray that she made out of just a piece of wood. So I went out to my garage, found this piece of wood. It's actually uh, three quarters plywood, but it's really nice on this one side i sanded it all down and then i'm going to stain it and of course you can see i'm just staining it with um the antique wax this wood is completely gorgeous i absolutely love the way it turned out so apparently i lost footage but this is what the tray looks like i didn't she used a belt i used leather strapping I just made little handles, put the little cubes from the Dollar Tree on for feet so it's not flat on the surface. So this is the tray. Then this here is the um, where the balloon was inside of it. I trimmed to the top. I put those flowers in a jar and just sat it down inside there. And that's all nice and stiff. So I really like that one. And then this one is the um, other one. And I just put some flowers in it, and it's just cute. It's a cute little vase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to thank everyone who's part of this, and I really enjoyed doing this um, type of uh, collaboration. So I hope you guys have the most blessed week. Don't forget to call somebody and just check in on them. It might be exactly what they need to hear today. Also, don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.